Hi friends and welcome once again to Walking on Sunshine, Cooking on Biogas. And of course it starts right here with food waste. Today is October 24th, 2015 and our biogas system has been running for six years now in the cold with very little maintenance. It uses all the gray water. Now I'm going to of course take the spoiled food that can no longer be used and I'm going to put that in the incinerator and then the incinerator here, I press the button and wind up all the food waste. And that's how we do our, our dishes. Okay. I try to do that with, with warm water because all the gray water, including the bath water from the house, um, is going out to the biodigester that includes all of the shower water so that comes out of here from the bathtub and the shower and the dishwasher and the incinerator food grinder and then of course it all then goes via pump into our biodigester here and it's uh, it's late october and it's very cold and um, the wind damaged the greenhouse, so it's open on the back, so we're not getting any thermal gain there. Nonetheless, we are getting gas, and uh, this is showing us that even when you do, for six years, put all of the shower and bath water, all the gray water, along with the food waste, into the uh, biodigester, then you do get gas. Now, we might be over-diluting it, and we might get better performance if we regulated the amount of water going in, but that warm water helps to keep the system active in the winter time uh, by having it go directly in. In this system here, we have a water jacket around the uh, inner biodigester that gets gray water, but this one seems to perform better. And then we're not filling the bag, but we are getting the gas. And then the gas is coming via these plastic hoses into this pump. And then we turn on the pump and then we will, oopsie, that came out. Oh, that's a lot of biogas spewing. Okay, that was interesting. So the gas is spewing all over the place. I'm not worried though. It's not dangerous to have a gas leak here in the kitchen, as you can see. I turn on the gas and there's a nice big flame, but that's about it. And that was a substantial bit of gas leak. I can actually show that again. If I blow it out and I just turn on the gas and I let it go for a while, you can see that I'm not getting explosion here, even though the gas is on, until I get there and then I get my flame. So pretty safe. Okay, and I turn the gas flame down. We're cooking uh, right now, we're cooking with um, turkey, bacon, and dates. That's a very famous German specialty turkey bacon wrapped around a date. We also have turkey bacon wrapped around goat cheese. So turkey bacon and goat cheese, turkey bacon and dates, and we put that on biogas. And once again, I'm just gonna get a nice big flame here. And we'll bring that down. And away we go with the cooking. I go like that, then I get a really cool picture. But um, that's kind of overkill. And let's bring it down. We're using the Pusheen stove there. Whoops. So yeah, so this is um, a good six years in, and the system uh, was inoculated with horse manure the first year. And January of 2009, this is a little pump that they sell uh, for pumping it at 25 um, kilopascal. And then it's just using rubber hoses coming out of the gas bag there. And uh, that was an old solar heater that we made out of an old radiator. And we had photovoltaic pump that with a thermostat and when it got warm it was pumping hot water through coils. Um, seems like 
Really the simplest way to do this is just to discharge your bath water into the biodigester. We put a lot of surface area in. We put um, bio blocks, these plastic filter blocks, and we hung them in nets inside the digester so that the food particles would get trapped and so that the microbes could build a biofilm. And then we're pushing a lot of water through, but seem to be retaining most of the, the values there. It's just that uh, even so, because uh, the things get to ambient temperature and it's cold, we're not getting a whole lot of gas, but we are getting enough gas to cook. And that's, uh, that's a nice thing. So please do try this at home. It's a lot of fun to be able to make your own gas and to cook on it. And you can cook anything. And that's the great thing. Okay. So thanks a lot for watching. And happy times turning your food waste into cooking food and, of course, liquid fertilizer. Bye.